hi this is simulation for the patient monitoring system so let me explain you the components which i had used for the simulation so first is lm35 for temperature monitoring and uh, this is the heartbeat monitoring system sorry this is the heartbeat monitoring sensor and i had used the arduino as a microcontroller you can use the mega and for display device i had used the glcd later this can be replaced with a cloud this data can be sent to the cloud and you can gather this data in your android phone and display there so uh, let me briefly explain you how i had monitored the heartbeat so here is the potentiometer which i am using for varying the heartbeat and here is a switch which i will be using to trigger or turn on the heartbeat sensor so the rest is quite easy so first what we will do we will upload the program in audio so for that we will open the audio program so let's get so this is our audio code before compiling the code make sure you had installed this library in your id and after that you can compile it so it is successfully compiled in done compiling so what we will do we will copy this hex file location and we will copy this in a project we will double click on audio and we will paste it over here and click on ok so the program has been loaded in audio now it's time to run the simulation so let's click here and start the simulation Okay, the simulation has been started. You can see the temperature displaying on the GLC. Now it's time to check our heartbeat. So before before running the heartbeat, I want to explain what are the parameters that we will be displaying on GLC. So what? So first will be uh, current heartbeat. Next will be time, and finally after the 10 second, it will show the heartbeat. In, with respect to per minute so uh, you need not have to run this entire code for one minute instead you just have to run it for 10 seconds and it will calculate for entire minute so first we will click on the toggle switch and the timer has been started So here is the result. Heartbeat per minute is 24 minutes and it ran for 10 seconds and between that we got a heartbeat of 4. So let's try to vary this spot and check what will be the value. Now we will pause it for a while and we will run it again. So GLCD is not being cleared, that's okay, no issues. You can write it in code because we are not using a GLCD. That's the reason we didn't focus much on GLCD. We will be sending this data on cloud. So that's okay. No. Now we will click on toggle switch. The timer has been started again. Let's see.
Okay, so this time the heartbeat for 10 seconds is 2 and total heartbeat per minute is 12. So this is how you can so this is how you can simulate the code without using the actual hardware. Same code will be used for the actual hardware as well. And uh, apart from that, uh, I want to say that here I am using a Uno. The same code can be used for Mega as well. You need not have to modify the code, neither the library.